What is up, beautiful people of the internet? I go by the name of Wesley, and today we are reacting to why there is plastic in fish meat. You guys know I can't miss a daily dose of internet video. Literally the goat of content aggregation on YouTube. That being said, guys, please subscribe down below for more reactions, and... Let me know if there's other videos or content creators you want to see me do reactions to. That being said, I'm very curious in this because I love me some fish. I would be pescatarian just for the, the fish, just for the benefits, just to eat fish every damn day. Number one, if my wife didn't despise fish, so that would make our marriage untenable because <laughs> she, would, she would hate her life if she had to eat fish every day. Number two... Mercury, mercury, I'm already dumb and crazy. I cannot imagine if I was just getting overload with mercury from that much fish, who knows what I would do. I would just be the damn mad hatter. I'd call me the mad reactor. Content might be fire for a while, but then it would probably go too far because you like want a little crazy, but then you get to like moderate crazy and it's still good, but then like mega crazy and everyone goes, whoa, bro. Wait, this isn't a joke, you're serious? This is scary. And then they stop watching. So that being said, for your sake, for my sake, I have to cool it. But I need to know, why the hell is there plastic? Because they're already mercury. That was bad enough. But now, A scientist out. opened up a can of tuna and put the meat under a microscope. Looks typical, looks normal, right? Nothing, nothing to see here, at least They to found me. that there was microscopic plastic inside of the fish. The plastic that we produce is polluting the ocean, which results in the fish consuming the plastic. Ugh, oh, that is disgusting. So these are little strands of microfibers of plastic because we've literally dumped so much plastic into the ocean that fish can't help but eat it. Oh, that is just gross. That is disgusting. Especially because if you guys don't know, like pl consuming plastic is a major hormone disruptor. It is just awful. I'm saying for humans, I don't know what it does to fish. I'm sure it's not good for them either. But if we eat the plastic that's in the fish, that's a hormone disruptor for us as humans. That's so if you're trying to get yoked, it's bad for you. If you're trying to, I don't know, have babies, it's bad for you. It's just oh, makes me so mad. Why can't we just be good stewards of the environment? I kind of that's one of the things I feel like. Be, I, I wish some of the environmental activism would focus on issues like this because I don't think, like, climate change is such a wedge issue. It, it, it really, like, people are so um, divisive on it. But issues like, hey, we should clean up the ocean or, hey, we should protect the bees. Stuff like that is the number one, um, it's the number one issue that has support from both parties. And so I'm like, dude. If we did these things, it would, like, if, if we cleaned up the ocean and we and we pushed policies that actually helped with these environmental issues, you would think that the back-end result would also be benefits to climate change. Like, you would get the same policies that you wanted as a climate change activist in the most part, or at least some of them, but you would be preaching, like, something that would unite both sides. Does that make sense? I don't know. I just feel like there's a really big missed opportunity in the messaging around some of these issues because like, who's gonna say, F the ocean, no, I want more plastic in the ocean, no one. I mean, there's a billion people on the earth, I'm sure some idiot would, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just feel like it's such a missed opportunity in communication and rhetoric. And it's, I'm like, dude, focus on this issue. Everybody loves this issue. Everyone loves fish, so except my wife. <laughs> my wife would be the one person like, nah, dump more plastic in the ocean, kill these bitches, I don't wanna eat them. Excuse <laughs> me. Whoa. No, no. That's me. I'll just take the whole pizza. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't, what do you do? Whoa! That looks like the pimple here before I popped it. What the hell are you supposed to... Uh, there's nothing you can... What do you... This diver dr Why was it black? At least the pimple I popped here, that was like a giant Mount Vesuvius. I popped it and it was white. They, they popped this and it was just black. That had to be sewage water. That is awful. I hope they ran. I hope that's not their property for their sake, man. That's terrible. Make a bottle of soda while upside down, underwater, and under the ice. The Coke does not want to go to my stomach, but up to my ears. First, I have to drink the Coke until the bottle this squeezes is so in. Trippy. But because there's no atmosphere air to relieve the pressure, I have to blow some air from my lungs into the bottle to pop it back out and what then the continue heck? to drink. 
You can see the air floats to the bottom of the Coke bottle, so I have to drink the last bit with the bottle tilted towards my belly, or else I won't be able to drink anymore and we'll just get a mouthful of air. Don't worry, I pick up the garbage. Because he, he is concerned about the level of plastic in our ocean. What a G. Yes, that's the kind of environmental messaging we need. Oh! Here's a cool demonstration showing the magnetic fields of a magnet. This is beautiful. Some of these incredibly slow motion videos are so crazy that they almost look like animations, huh? So trippy. Insane clown posse. Magnets, how do they work? I hope this is not a fail video. Whoa! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You nailed that dismount. You'll find out that he was like a gymnast in Serbia or something and got a bronze medal like 40 years ago. So there's some old people, man. There are some old people who are absolute badasses and it's insane. Someone found a rare caterpillar that looks like a mossy stick. That's an animal? That's alive? I thought it was, imagine this is a prank video and that's the wind just picking up a little piece of detritus on this guy's, is that a knee or elbow? Are we sure, are we sure this isn't just a leaf? I'm just saying, I, I don't see obvious sign, signs of life. Whoa! Whoa! That look, w w when you accidentally play pinball at the bowling alley? Huh. <laughs> at least she gets to just go again. The bowling alley An pities you and gives you a mulligan. An and placed into the Red Sea near Egypt to attract scuba divers. This is morbid. Man. You know what's scarier than normal ghosts? Aquatic, nautical, deep sea ghosts. I would not go here. And sharks. Shark ghosts. The, the plane kind of had a weird beauty to it, though, didn't it? That's the end of this video. I really hope you this enjoyed. This is relaxing. And I'll see you guys again very, very soon. I feel like this is the type of background we need on one of those lo-fi hip-hop playlists or something. But that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an absolutely beautiful, gorgeous day. And that you are a good steward of the environment today. That being said, I love you guys. Take care of yourself. Subscribe down below for more reactions. And please comment and let me know if there's other reactions you want to see me do. I'm Wesley. You're dope. Yeah. You. You're dope. Have a great day. <laughs> Take care of yourself. I'm out. I missed the damn record button again. I'm not so dope. Here we go. Try to. Out. <laughs>